Hi, my name is Rafael Morales, technical trainer for Genetech, and in this video I'm going to follow up on uh, the previous video where I defaulted a HID EH400K to its default setting. I'm going to go ahead and log in to that one panel now, um, and I'm going to get this panel HID ready to be added or enroll into Security Center 5.5. Okay, so I'm going to now that I um, uh, brought my panel to default. I'm going to log in or connect to it via the IP address of 169-254-242-121 uh, username admin and the password should be blank here. Now I'm going to go ahead and configure let me go ahead and expand this uh, this page here. I'm going to configure my panel as a static IP address and I'm going to assign an IP that I know I can use on my network okay and I'm gonna use uh, the uh, let's use 101 here subnet mass of 255.255.255.0 and I'm just gonna use my local router um, as my default gateway here now very important to, uh, to know that if there's no DNS on the network that is available to be added on these two fields here, on DNS, uh, that we must use, and since I don't have one, uh, we must use the uh, the same IP that we use to assign to the panel. So in this case, will be 192.168.1.101. So again, if there's no DNS available, you must add the same IP address of the panel under the DNS um, fields here. Okay, so this is 101 as well. Um, I'm not going to use the host name. Very important to also know that if you're going to use a host name, do not exceed uh, 15 characters here. And uh, quickly, let me go ahead and submit. Actually, I have to go ahead and type in a password. It's a good idea to type a password, not leave it as blank. And now I'm going to save this information here. And I should be able to connect now. Uh, via the IP address. Let me try that. 192.168.1.101 Okay, let me advance. Let me proceed. And now I should have that information there ready. Also very important, we need to go to the advanced setup and make sure that uh, FTP Telnet are enabled okay as well. If not, we're going to have issues connecting to this panel or adding or enrolling the panel to Security Center. Okay, so no, let me go ahead now and go to Config Tool here. I'm going to open the Access Control tab. I'm going to add the unit or enroll the unit. It's ready to be enrolled against my server here, which is hosting the Access Rule, uh, the Access Manager. I'm sorry. Go to the Access Manager. Several ways to do that. I'm going to just go ahead and click on uh, the plus sign here. This is an HID Vertex unit, and I'm going to add the 192.168.1.101, and I'll type in the password or password uh, root and pass, and I click on close and create. should take several seconds while the access manager is um, accessing the unit uh, but very soon it should be uh, the process should be completed and our unit should be added to our access manager here this is um, uh, the creation process is normal to take a few seconds for the synchronization between panel and access manager to occur. There it is. The unit has been created. And if I click on close now, then I go to my access manager, we should see our brand new a, um, HID EH400 unit added. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and create a door using that HID unit. Thank you very much. You have a good day.